Greetings, cocktail aficionados. It's John Moser with yet another edition of Cocktails Out of Quarantine. You know, I was in a bit of a quandary about what drink to prepare for this video because now I've done 60 of these things. Can you believe it? 60 of these things so far. And I've kind of run out of cocktails that I can easily do. Now, I've got plenty of other uh, possibilities. I, I keep all kinds of note cards with recipes. But it seems like almost all the ones I have require some kind of specialty ingredient that I can't get around here. So I have to wait to be able to make a road trip or rely on the generosity of friends who go somewhere and can bring something back for me. But then it occurred to me, there is a truly classic drink that I have not yet covered, and it's the Gimlet. And it's odd that I haven't covered it because it's one of the first, if not the very first cocktail that I ever learned how to make. It's quite simple. It's gin, uh, simple syrup, and lime juice. Or if you use roses, sweetened lime juice, it's just the mixture of the two of them. But fresh ingredients are always better, so we're gonna use, we're gonna use fresh lime. The history of this drink is fascinating. It's an old one, we do know that. Uh, we know that it showed up in Harry Craddock's The Savoy Cocktail Book. I'm so happy to have a copy of this. But it seems to go back to the 18th century at the, or sorry, the 19th century at the latest. The, the story behind it, and, and who knows if these things are true, right? This is the kind of history that doesn't tend to get written in the history books. The story behind it is, uh, of course, you have Royal Navy sailors who on long voyages would suffer from scurvy. And it was discovered sometime in the 18th century that, uh, that citrus is a good way of preventing scurvy. Huh, who knew? Um, and so by the early 19th century, early to mid 19th century, uh, there were Royal Navy uh, ship's doctors who were saying, okay, you gotta give the crew lime juice. Well, the crew says, well, bloody hell, I don't know no lime juice. How do you get British sailors, and old sea dogs, to drink lime juice? Well, you mix it with liquor, uh, specifically with gin. And there's a story that the man who, in who introduced this drink was uh, a, a surgeon in the Royal Navy, Rear Admiral uh, Sir, Sir Thomas Gimlet, G-I-M-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, and the, the drink is named after him. Again, I don't know if it's true. Apparently his obituary says nothing about it, but who knows? I mean, an obituary isn't necessarily gonna write about something like that. In any case, the tradition of booze uh, combined with lime goes back a long way. Uh, and British, soldiers, British sailors were known to drink it, which is why American sailors started referring to them as lime juicers, and as time went on, that got simplified to limeys. If you ever heard of an Englishman called a limey, and that's, that's the reason. So, I'm gonna show you how to make the gimlet. It's been around forever. As I said, it was in the Savoy Cocktail Book. It was featured in the 1953 Raymond Chandler novel, The Long Goodbye. So this drink has a great pedigree, and it's also a good drink for a warm day like this. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm gonna show you how to make it, but first, here's what you will need. The gimlet's pretty darn simple, where you've got gin, a good British, dry, uh, good London dry gin. I've got boodles, hard to get more English than that. Simple syrup, I kind of feel bad. I've, I've, I've been uh, remiss in making my own, so I fell back on getting this bottle. It tastes basically the same, um, and, uh, and it, it'll be fine. And then, of course, there's the lime to keep us all from getting scurvy. Three ingredients, simple drink. That's what you need. Here's how to make it. Okay, we've got our shaker. I love this nice uh, glass shaker. I've got some ice in it. We are going to start with two and a half ounces of gin. This is a oozy drink. Two. Here's a half. No, no one Four maybe soon as well. And a half an ounce of simple. And a half an ounce of fresh lime. Here we go. 
seal it up. My lid go. Excuse me. There we go. Found it. And we want to get this as cold as possible. So I'm putting it in a glass that I have pre-chilled in the freezer. Mmm, delightful. And we're going to garnish it with a lime wheel right on the side. Look at this drink. How delightful. So uh, to the memory of Rear Admiral Sir Thomas Gimlet. Cheers. Oh, that is a good drink. See you all next time.